the next topic that we are going to discuss is placentation. Now, we had talked about placenta. Placenta is the site where the ovules are attached to the ovarian locule or the ovarian wall. If there is a septa present, then the ovule would be attached to the ovarian wall at this particular site which is known as placenta. And what you observe when you are seeing ovaries of different flowers, there are many types of arrangements in which the placenta can occur and that is known as placentation. So, we are going to see the various types of placentation which have been observed in the plants and for seeing the examples. Here also I would lead it to your practical work, it is better you go and find in the fields or uh, wherever in your daily usage, whichever fruits or ovaries you encounter, especially in case of fruits, you observe what type of placentation is there, it would be a good brushing up of what you have studied. Now we are talking about placentation which is the arrangement of ovules within the ovary. What we see over here is marginal placentation that there would be a pod, that joining of the pod would be known as margin and at that margin the ovules will be attached. Okay, this point is marginal placentation. The placentation where placenta attaches with the margin of the ovarian locule is known as marginal placentation. The second type is exile placentation that you see over here. There is ovarian locule, three types of ovarian locules. You find not three types, three in number. You find septa over here and the ovules are attached to the axis. Parietal placentation is the arrangement where you find the ovules attached to the ovarian wall towards periphery okay? and such is the arrangement as depicted in this picture. Free central placentation will not have any excess specifically created by septa or locules being formed but the arrangement of all the ovules will be in the central part, the central kushni part over which all the ovules would be attached and that is known as free central placentation. And the last type placentation that we have over here is basal placentation where such is the ovarian locule like this supposedly and from here you would find the ovules, this, this could be placenta. Okay, and here the ovules are present. This is known as basal placentation. That means at the base, the ovarian locule bears the ovules. Let us see each of them one by one. This is marginal placentation. The simplest example that is shown over here is that of a pea. Okay, edible thing. Most of the times you must have seen if you have good culinary skills. If not, at least when you see people eating it, this is how a pea plant comes from, okay, a pea comes from. This is the pod of the pea and here we have the placenta, these are the ovules, these would further grow and they become seeds later on. But this is what you have to remember in marginal placentation. The next one is exile placentation. Now this is again something related to food. This is lady finger or otherwise known as okra. You see the septas over here, the septum which are present and in the central part attached to the central part lie the ovules. This is the exile placentation example. We have many citrus fruits which belong to this category of placentation and of course this is the example. If you can't remember anything while writing, you can remember this picture and write. This is parietal placentation. Now what you see is this is a, a completely developed ovary, Ex, uh, epicarp, mesocarp, endocarp and this is the ovarian locule. Now what is here, what you observe over here, the ovarian, you have seen papaya as well, the ovary, the central hollow part has the ovules jo joined towards the ends. What you see in this cantaloupe that is also similar, this is a melon and you see even in the case of papaya, these ovules they are attached to the ovarian wall by placenta and the such placentation is known as parietal placentation. Otherwise, we have the example of cucumber as well that is also parietal placentation. Then we have the free central placentation. Free central placentation as you can see, this is the central cushion that is coming. There is no ovarian locule formation, there are no septa. All the ovules if observed like this. They are arranged according to this manner, 
in the central part, the central cushiony part. And otherwise, if observed from above, there is no septa formation, septum formation, no locule formation, but they are arranged like this as we had seen in the diagram previously. Moving further, the last one is basal placentation. It is seen in dianthus, it is seen in argemon. You have the ovules located at the base. This is the ovary, ovarian part, the ovules are located at the base at the central part. Okay, So, this is what you have to keep in mind while talking about placentation. You need to know the names, you need to remember the arrangement and for understanding what are the various placentations and how they are practically present around you, I would suggest you to carry it out practically, see as many fruits as you can see, observe them and see what type of placentation is present inside them. Again, I would say I have done my part, now it's up to you how to remember it. If you do it practically, it will be good for you, it will stay in your mind and it will not be difficult for you to remember the examples.